Gore-Tex here, Gore-Tex there. Everybody has at least one garment made of Gore-Tex around. Also militaries. What is Gore-Tex and why is it so much used, especially in sportswear and especially skiing? For ski lovers like me, you have surely seen this logo around. Gore-Tex is considered one of the best fabrics for outwear, footwear, rainwear and sportswear around the world. The brand has always been a symbol of quality, reliability and durability. I myself used to have uh, Gore-Tex jackets back in the days and I can assure you it lasted for years. But what makes Gore-Tex so durable and reliable? Let's see more in details. Gore-Tex, where Tex stands for textile, whereas Gore stands for Gore, is the surname of the inventors of the fabric. Wilbert L. Gore and his son Robert W. Gore, both engineers. The producing company is W. L. Gore and & Associate and was founded in 1958 by Bill Gore, who used to work for DuPont back in the days. Gore-Tex is well known for breathability and water repellency. How can you combine these two properties together? I mean, it's counterintuitive to have a breathable fabric and a water repellent fabric. Well, not for father and son Gore. Bob Gore, the son of Bill Gore, after a PhD in chemical engineering, started helping his father in the cellar, trying to create a new material of elastic PTFE, also known as Teflon, the same molecule used for kitchen pans, you know, the ones that let the fats slide. They managed to create this EPTFE, a solid film of PTFE that, if heated at 300 degrees and instantly pulled, can be drawn mechanically until you obtain a kind of microporous web with 70% of air and the rest is EPTFE. Basically, they invented a way to use the same polymer of kitchen pants for sportswear. The only difference is that we are not making kitchen pants here, we are making textiles, but it's actually the same thing. Water drops and oils slide on the surface, making the fabric repellent, whereas the web, since 70% is air, is breathable. Water molecules are in fact not bigger than oxygen molecules, but have three atoms and are bent for 104.5 degrees. With this membrane, water molecules slide on the surface, whereas oxygen oxygen can pass through this membrane. Gore-Tex mainly refers to this membrane of EPTFE of Teflon, but it's 100% of the cases glued or laminated with other fabrics. Usually a strong abrasion resistant outer shell in polyester or polyamide treated with water repellent chemicals, usually a soft and breathable inner layer for more comfort on the skin. I mean, you don't want a t-shirt made of 100% Teflon with that content on the skin, right? Anyway, Gore-Tex is still used nowadays for its great performance performances such as impermeability, breathability, UV protection, cold temperature and wind protection, durability, versatility. The cons are also many though. It's expensive, it's not elastic, it's heavy and has problems with condensation and sweating. Regarding this, since Gore-Tex has several layers of fabric of material one over the other, the stretchability and the breathability is not fantastic, guys. And the fabric is not super light. You have to take this into account. All the rest is history. If you take a look at Gore-Tex websites, you can clearly see a number of different applications and materials from automotive to sanitary equipment, not just textiles. But what are the challenges that the brand may face? in the coming years. All eyes are currently on PTFE, which is a fantastic material that, on the other hand, is super toxic for human health. Teflon and all PFCs, molecules with carbon and fluorine atoms bonded together, especially PFAS, are bioaccumulative and remain in the environment for years and years, causing several problems to reproductive and endocrine system. Several regulations like the European REACH and the California Proposition 65 are barring PFAS, since these molecules have been found also in drinking water, sludges and human bodies. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email, reddit and so on. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and as usual if you have some kind of trouble problem with textiles, I am a disposal naturally and yeah, as usual stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.